knife watch. You guys asked for more watch content, here it is, let's get right into it. Laurier, Baltic, two boutique brands, some people call them micro brands, some say independent. I like boutique, it's got a fancy little feel to it and uh, really speaks to the kind of customer service as well as uh, limited edition nature of these two amazing brands for watches. So, let's jump right in. This is a versus, but it's a friendly versus. I'm gonna tell you five things you didn't know about Baltic, Laurier, what they have in common, and what they have, uh, definitely a lot that's different as well. But two watches, uh, two watch brands that are definitely compared a lot in the marketplace. Similar price points, similar level of just fan craze. People love these. These People who love Laurier, love Laurier, and you'll never find one of these just sitting around on somebody's desk. Um, they're hard to get, they're elusive. Baltic as well, people who love Baltic swear by it and buy up every model they can. So um, they've definitely got a lot in common, but let's get right into it. So the first things first, uh, whenever you get one of these brands, um, they're gonna impress you with their boxes, their presentation, the branding is well done. I'm a marketing guy, love the marketing of both of these companies. The logos, the typography they use is very important. The colors they choose, very important, and they take it seriously. So let's unbox both of these, and uh, let's just start with alphabetical order so that you don't think I'm being biased in any way, shape, or form. I love both of these brands. Baltic. So when you open up a Baltic watch box, you're going to get this amazing, cool kind of cork looking box. Let's take that out there. And you're typically going to get a really nice presentation. So this is what came with the worn and wound limited edition of the uh, Baltic by Compacts, which is a very, very hard to get watch these days. And that's pretty much it. Do they sell other products? Yes, I'm going to get into that. Just showing you the unboxings of both. Where Laurier really wins is this presentation. Okay, number one, really nice box. Not your typical type of box you'll see when you open up a watch. Wrapping paper with the Laurier Chevron logo right on it. Who cares about wrapping paper though, right? But then it continues, the branding continues. The Laurier Chevron on a watch roll. This is not Zelos, but they're giving you a watch roll. Gotta love it, guys. Give me gear. This definitely gets people addicted to watches. Give me toys and accessories. And oh yeah, they do. They give you a card. Sometimes it's a warranty card or it's got a nice note on it. Um, on the other side of this, you'll see uh, that it's definitely got a handwritten note from the founders of the company saying, hope you enjoy the watch or something along those lines. And they give you a tool to change the watch bracelet size. If you want to see me change watch bracelets and or any how-to guides for certain watches, um, I've got a couple of videos on it and I can do more by request. But gosh darn it, give me a watch roll and a tool, I'm hooked, okay? So Laurier, they're definitely winning on the presentation and not just over Baltic. Baltic has a beautiful box, it's gorgeous and they've got several different kinds. But man, this is going above and beyond. If this is tied into the price of the watch, I'll take it, especially because of the kind of quality you'll get of the watch. And um, that tool can be used for many other watch bracelets as well. So, um, you know, Laurier definitely went the extra mile there. Now, when you talk about watch rolls, let's just get right into it, right? So the first thing you may not have known about these brands is they give you a great number of options of things around the ethos of watches. Baltic also sells watch rolls on their site, but separately, they don't come with the watches. This is a nice watch roll I got. It's a four watch roll and um, I do keep, I do use it. it. It comes in great, it comes in handy a lot. And it's also got that great branding there, but you do have to pay extra. And so um, that's something to keep in mind if you do wanna get your gear tight. Baltic tends to be a little bit more expensive, um, just to, not by much um, in terms of shipping to the United States. It does cost a little bit more and a little bit more of a wait time for Baltic, but. Uh, they also bring a level of quality that's amazing, but th these brands are still very comparable. So you're getting gear, you're getting cool stuff, but enough about that. Let's get to the good stuff. Wristwatch check today, I've got on the Smiths PRS25 by Time Factors. And you guys know I love this. Let's go Explorer vibes. No, it's, you know, it's hard to get a stainless steel Rolex and they just dropped a bunch of them, but do the best we can over here, okay? 
So let's get to the good stuff, okay? Put on the special knife watch gloves, which are really just gloves from Long Island Watch. Shout out to Mark. Um, thank you for these gloves. They they really, really do come in handy. And I'm gonna be handling a lot of these watches. Don't wanna get a ton of dirt and grime on them for no reason. Okay, we're here. Let's do this, okay? Laurier and Baltic. I mean, are you guys drooling or what? I know I am. Um, I absolutely believe that my collection is near completion. You gotta be saying, you know, knife watch, you don't have, you know, APs and Pateks and all that kind of stuff here. What do you mean your collection is almost complete? My boutique co uh, collection is almost complete. I love micro brands. I love accessible brands because they are things I can refer to my friends and they can get them without being offended. Um, so let's go down the line and talk about the next four things you may not have known. So we went over the kind of gear, the accessories, the, sh the, the things like that. And, and making that transition, the next thing that I'll go to is bracelets and straps. So the, the number two thing you might not known have, have known about Baltic and Laurier is they both have fantastic options when it comes to bracelets and straps, but they are different, okay? So first and foremost, I gotta tell you that Laurier has an amazing, amazing bracelet, okay? On all of these, you can see it's got the same bracelet. It doesn't matter the color, it doesn't matter the type, um, they've got the same bracelet. And so they, they all have the same shape and case, except for this new Falcon, which is actually a um, version two of the Falcon. This is version one of the Falcon. This comes in gold and it also comes in stainless steel. This one is just in stainless steel right now, but a gold version will be coming on down the line. And so what you need to know about the Falcon is although the shape of the case, the size of the case, the dimensions are decreased, this is a 36 millimeter, um, this is about a, a 39. Uh, this is actually the same size uh, bracelet, 20 millimeters. So you, you got this amazing modularity when it comes to Laurier. No matter what kind of watch you got, you're also gonna get that same bracelet to fit on all of your Laurier watches. So that tool comes in handy for resizing all of them. I could switch these bracelets. They always look brand new. And look at the light play of these bracelets. These lugs and the bracelets have seamless light play like they're they're like they were born together and that's just amazing for the price point as well as just it doesn't matter what kind of watch you you standard you have it's nice to have a watch that with a bracelet that's integrated but actually can be a strap monster as well that works on all of your different types of watches so if you're a laurier collector you are not itching for a bracelet change and guess what the same thing is true for baltic here's the baltic aquascaf this is their bracelet. Now this does come extra, okay? You need to pay an extra, you know, um, I think it's a little bit around 100 or so USD, maybe more for one of these bracelets by Baltic. And I do think that it is of a higher quality than the Laurier bracelet. The beads of rice is gorgeous. Um, and it's also got that signed clasp. But um, the Baltic one, just, it's just a little bit of a tier above with the polish and brushed contrasting there. The light play on both the Laurier and the Baltic, absolutely phenomenal, yet the Laurier is just a step above. And I'll demonstrate what I mean by that again. When you put them side to side, one more time, you can see the way that the light plays with these brands is just amazing. But again, the, late, the way that the light works with the bracelet and the lugs and then you have this polished edge here going up and down the case of the Laurier whereas the Baltic is just a little bit more streamlined brushed mostly all around all right it looks like you got a little bit of polishing just coming out on that bracelet and then just pretty much it all right okay but um you know Baltic does have more than one watch obviously so um, that's enough uh, going crazy about it, but let's go into the next thing, which is limited edition. Now, a lot of people would uh, actually consider selling some more expensive watches to get this bad boy right here. And this is a worn and wound chronograph limited edition collaboration with each of these micro brands. Oh yeah, worn and wound did a chronograph with Laurier and they did a chronograph with Baltic. So worn and wound. 
Sold these both via the wind up watch shop and I was all over both of them. Are you kidding me? You, you, you just look at these things. Absolutely beautiful. The salmon dial as well as the cerulean one-eyed chronograph from Laurier. Uh, you don't see watches like these every day and it's pretty much impossible that you, when you're uh, you know going to a restaurant or um, putting your mask on to go to the post office that you're going to run into somebody wearing one of these. This is one of only 88 in the world and this is one of only 100. Laurier also did a three-hander um, version of the salmon dial as well that's also uh, way sold out and gone. So both of these sold out in the first, I'd say, five to ten minutes of them being on the worn and wound wind up shop, wind up watch shop website. And I got to tell you, there's good reason. They're both vintage inspired, modern, beautifully put together timepieces that would look good on most anybody. Now, some people would say that the uh, the this one is a little bit less practical because it's got, you know, just this color you don't see matching with everything, but that steel bezel, it actually dulls down the way that it looks in person, and it's just such a nice steel bezel. It's got this uh, wonderful brushing that's really circular brushing that's terrific, and um, you don't often see that the numerals and the indices on the bezel actually are uh, colored in the same way on a steel bezel. Typically, they do a black or they just leave it out, but this is really well done. And of course, just the color of this uh, by Compax is just amazing. And so Baltic will be releasing this as a, uh, a normal release, but not in this color, of course. So that's really exciting that people get to see these numerals on their Baltic pieces. Um, just look at that four, okay? I mean, how often do you see a flat four like that? And I also love the uh, just the font on on, on both of these watches. The, again, the, both of these brands understand typography and fonts. So they've both got great straps, okay? They both have terrific bracelets, um, but what's the differentiator here, right? So we talked about some of the differences. One of the downfalls of the Baltic bracelet is um, this is a push pin bracelet. So some people like that because it's, it's very secure. It's not gonna pop out on you randomly. Some people don't, just something worth mentioning. And um, also, but back to a point, you know, for the Baltic is this actual, you know, worn and wound edition of the by Compax as well as the 300 came with this beautiful, um, you know, shell cordovan, uh, just leather watch strap, which is just amazing. It's this deep, deep navy blue with a, a, a dark blue threading. And it's so well done. I don't even put it on the watch because I want to keep it perfect. And I think that this looks great on this Zin 104 strap that really toughens up the watch. And also the polishing of the uh, the latch here on the clasp looks great. So um, a point for Baltic because Baltic actually sells many straps on their website. And um, they're really high quality um, for, what you're, for the price that you're paying. And uh, the one that came with this limited edition is fantastic. This strap actually looks best on the original blue gilt Baltic Aquascap. I think this is the best combo um, outside of, of just the original beads of rice bracelet that I've seen on any Baltic watch. Um, okay, so we've go gone over gear, bracelets, and, and um, the limited edition nature. So that's the first three things that I gotta say that you probably didn't know about that was uh, different and similar about these two brands. Um, don't mind these two watches over here. These special bad boys are just eye candy for you guys. Um, but yeah, so we got four Lauriers here and four Baltics here. What you might notice is, yeah, you got some gold, right? Okay, so the number four thing you may not have known about these micro brands is they give you a lot of selection with materials, right? So um, Baltic also does have this bronze aquascap, which we will go over in a minute. Don't you worry. Um, so we've got gold. I, I've talked about this before in other videos. I love gold. Anybody who says that they do not like gold on watches, if it's not 100% real gold, is either a very rich person or is just, just making an excuse for the fact that gold doesn't look great on their complexion. And that is fine. But you don't have to come at other people for wearing watches that aren't 100% real gold. Okay, let's be honest. Um, anyway, off that topic, gold on these watches is fantastic. So on this Baltic by Compax, I've also got this in a terrific strap code bracelet, which I just love. And I'll unlatch this to show you uh, something special about this 
what you can get with Baltic watches that you may not get with Laurier watches, which is a clear see-through case back. And you see that movement here. This is a Seagull ST 1901. It looks great. Assembled in France, chronograph. Um, and this is just a terrific 50 you know, meter water resistant watch. And so I love the gold that's on this. It's not too yellow, not too pink, the way I like it. And let's compare it with Seiko Gold, right? Seiko's uh, probably the number one competitor for many smaller brands that are trying to come up. And I gotta tell you, the, the quality of the gold, it looks clean, it looks clear, um, and, and I love it. So uh, strap code, bony mesh on this, it, it looks great to me. It's very, very classic. When I put this on, um, it is a little bit of a grandpa watch. When I put it on, it, it just makes me feel like old and wise, uh, which I actually like. I can't wait till I turn completely gray. Um, so, but on that note, I got to tell you that uh, this is just a very classically inspired watch. Um, I love that you get the option of gold. So um, is it going to be too flashy for some people? Yeah, sure. And But that's not a takeaway. Uh, it's actually an addition and you get the option. And as well for Laurier on their original Falcon, they did release this in gold as well as with just the original stainless steel. What's special about the Falcon here that you're not getting from the gold options that you'll get on Baltic and you can get the three hand or the chronograph in gold, even though those are gonna be discontinued by the end of this September, 2020, um, is this gorgeous, gorgeous dial on the Falcons. You'll also see it, look at the material on the dial. I mean, just glorious. Fantastic, looks great, actually looks like a falcon's talons, feathers, or what have you. Beautiful, <laughs> really cool job. And that's just not something you're gonna get on many Baltic watches. You may get that texturing on the new releases of the three-hander and the chronographs they're dropping because you do get this really cool texturing. I don't know if, you got, if that's coming through on camera. I'm doing my best here for you guys. But you can definitely see that there is some really cool texturing and graining on that dial. Quickly, let's touch on crowns. Um, something else you're gonna get on these brands is you're definitely getting signed crowns. And they both do it in a very similar way. Baltic, it looks like a little bit more printed. Is it engraved? It does look a little bit so, but more so on the Laurier, it really looks like they took their time and energy to make this look like a standout, beautiful crown. And the crown operation on both is very similar. Um, but let's get into the, the number five thing, which is just elusiveness. So. I gotta tell you, these both of these brands are elusive in different ways. So Baltic has this bronze aquascaf that came out in 2020 as well. And this is definitely my favorite Baltic watch outside of the salmon dial chronograph, which is gonna be a gift for my uh, uh, soon to come newborn daughter uh, someday. But this is my favorite watch that I can actually wear. I don't wanna ruin this watch, right? And it's a tough tool watch here. You got this amazing circular brushing here. I've gone over this in my State of the Collection video for the summertime, which you can definitely catch after this. And it's awesome. I gotta tell you, I've been doing my best to get a patina here. Can you see this? Is this coming through on the sides there? You getting a little patina? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I, I just love the watch. Now, the reason I love it is you see some differentiation here with the original Baltic Aquascaf. And in terms of elusiveness, you're getting these numerals here, right? Numerals with Baltic, they make you work for them. They're not on all of their watches. Um, and the other thing is you're getting this amazing bezel action on both of the Baltic watches. And you do get that on your Laurier divers, but something about the Baltic bezel is just, it really stands out. It's really, it's really got this classic um, just feeling to it on the Aquascaf, original blue gilt. And then on this bronze, and then on this bronze, I just gotta show you guys this. Just get up close and personal with that, okay? Now this was a um, first production run. I put this on a different strap. This is actually a Scurfa strap. So a lot of people ask me about where I got this strap. Um, it does come on a Tropic, which is okay, but um, I actually prefer this one. It's hard to find one that's in this type of bronze. So you're getting this precious metal from Baltic that Laurier doesn't offer. So we're seeing the real first difference is that Baltic does do some special things that you're not gonna see everywhere else. So this is number 14 out of the first that were the first production run. So pretty low number, really cool that I got this, but not everybody can get this. So Baltic is very elusive in a different way than Laurier. Laurier more so, it's just hard to get them in general. They all sell out. I think right now is the first time ever they've had a, you know, 
available watches on their website. They are always gone and they use a really cool email system. And that's different from Baltic because Baltic typically has had um, watches like this just sitting out on the market. They, these have been available. You know, it's not hard to get um, one of these made and assembled for you, but these are being discontinued. So that will change. So Baltic is very elusive in a different way than Laurier has been. Moving forward, um, that would be the fifth thing um, that, you, that you really may not have known about these brands is they're not easy to get. So I got a bonus for you here, right? So we've gone over these beautiful watches and how much I love them. I could gush about them for hours, but in terms of keeping time down, um, I wanna give a shout out to the Laurier team. They have been amazing in terms of just answering my questions and they're really easy to reach. Um, Lauren and Lorenzo on the, on, on the ones and twos on their Instagram, definitely holding it down, easy to reach. Um, Baltic, I've, I've tried to reach out a few times and they have been responsive. Not really getting that that love and that care and that conversation that I've seen from the Laurier team. I do think that Baltic was really, really busy when I reached out to them and they were extremely responsive both times that I needed something. So I think that they're on even playing fields in terms of excellent customer service. So you're not losing anything with either of these brands. And um, I definitely think that Baltic is really good on social media. Uh, they, they advertise a lot on Instagram, a lot of sponsored posts. And um, on, you know, for Laurier, this is a husband and wife team. And um, you know, this is just really cool to see a couple working on their watches. So I think that Lorenzo really is the person who's, who's got the expertise and background in watches. And Lauren kind of keeps him um, you know, toned down with like, why, do, why don't we strip this down? Why not keep this more simple? than you typically would, right? And let's not overcomplicate things. I love the way they work together on designs. And so you're getting a lot of things from both brands. You got your divers, okay? Um, if, if you wanna go diving, you have that option with both brands. You wanna, you wanna stopwatch, <laughs> okay? You have your chronographs with both brands. Um, that's amazing. And if you want these pieces that you're not gonna see from other brands that are, that are comparable, you know, smaller brands, options in gold. This means that they have a diverse group of customers that they want to speak to. Different complexions deserve different respect. And so I think that gold being my favorite color on wrist, this is a reason why I'll always have some sort of Laurier Baltic in my collection, no doubt, is just the way that they take risks that other brands don't. So when a gold watch comes out, like, like a Seiko, all gold watch comes out, it's like, whoa, where'd you get that? Whereas with Baltic and with Laurier, it's just the norm for them now. So, um, gotta say, love both of these companies, love what they're doing, and you both get the thumbs up. So hopefully I gave you some uh, insight into five things, or uh, with a bonus, maybe six things you may not have known about Laurier and Baltic, my favorite micro brands. Knife Watch, out.